step back, so I'm not a factor. good. I can't see. Okay, so next time, one tree. To be able to easily step. So I'm Okay, stop. Always it's very small, but it's a little bit longer. Put your thumb down. Tell him to keep his thumb down when he asks for a step up. Put it back. Sergio, você tem que pedir a ela come down, step up. Have you ever heard the yeah? Uh huh. She's yelling at you. She's saying ah. She doesn't like it. That's why she grabs it with her foot and she's trying to manipulate it. She doesn't like it. So let's just keep it down. Because although we want you to be able to do that, we want you to be able to do that. He's not going to be able to do that. Yet. So it's hand. Yes.
Hey guys, I hope you have found this video super helpful in being able to spot inconsistencies in training and also realize what consistency looks like. I wanted to show the perspective of both to show um, how fast you can progress in your training. So basically Sunshine, the blue and gold macaw, I was a neutral person to her. She didn't know me, so she didn't have good or bad experiences with me. In three sessions, I was able to establish some trust and to the point where she would step up totally willingly and um, she was very excited to do so. With Sergio, he was a negative person, so it was already going to take a little bit more. But the other problem on top of him having negative experiences with Sunshine was that he was super inconsistent. I didn't even include all of our sessions, but there were sessions where he had her stepping up on his hand, stepping up on his arm, stepping up with his thumb up, stepping up with his thumb down, rewarding when she didn't step up, rewarding when she stepped up with one foot, rewarding when she stepped up with two feet, holding the reward um, so far away that she would have to go off balance to get it, holding it close, holding it too close, approaching quick, approaching slow. All these little nuances really tick a bird off. So when they already don't co totally trust you, and then you have all these little inconsistencies that make you unpredictable, they're much less likely to repeat the behavior and trust you and step up because they aren't quite sure what you're gonna do. So even the cons inconsistency of his thumb was driving her crazy. What Sunshine thought was that he was gonna put her thumb, his thumb down on her feet and hold her feet, and she really doesn't like that. And because he doesn't have an established relationship, we can't even go as far to work on that yet. So with her, um, the person that she really loves, Claudia, Claudia can work on that because she already has an established relationship that's super positive and really, really good. She can work on that, but Sergio cannot because he's not there yet. So I know we've done Bird Tricks Tuesdays where we talked about um, consistent inconsistency, and that applies to people like Claudia who ha already have an existing great relationship with their bird. Then being inconsistent in your routine is very beneficial because, for instance, your bird doesn't get fed at 7 o'clock a.m. every single day, otherwise it'll learn to scream when you're a little bit late. It can get fed between 6 a.m. or even 5 a.m. and all the way to noon, somewhere in there. Um, but it doesn't exactly know when, so it never gets into a routine where it has um, a means to scream about it because there's no routine established. So that's kind of what we're talking about in that video. If you've seen that one and you're like, what the heck? You guys say to be inconsistent, then you say to be consistent. It all de deter is determined by um, where your relationship stands currently. And that's why we do um, our free flight course is so per person, per bird, because everybody goes in a little bit different direction based on bad habits, um, age of the bird, and the type of trainer that you are. So um, we can progress with people that are consistent much faster. So I hope that kind of um, paints the picture a little bit better and you guys understand, and hopefully you find this video helpful.